Hey everyone, it's Dan, and today we're going to change the oil on the 2021 BMW F750 GS. Now, this job is about a 1 out of 5 in terms of difficulty. It really should take you about an hour or less to finish with a couple of basic tools. You'll need a T50 uh, torque bit to remove the primary drain plug, a 5 millimeter hex bit to remove the secondary drain plug. Yeah, this bike does have two drain plugs. It's important to remove both of them. Uh, a lot of oil is going to be drained out of both, so don't skip that step. You also need an oil filter wrench. The oil filter is tucked away a little bit. It's going to be very difficult to remove without a wrench. Um, and then to support that, you'll need a ratchet wrench and then also a torque wrench to uh, torque up the two drain plugs and also the oil filter. Now, just like many other motorcycles, the oil filter is placed right above the exhaust pipe. So it's a good idea to protect it from the dripping oil to make sure that it doesn't get dirty and smell after, uh, after you're done. So a good way to do that is to use some regular household aluminum foil. We'll wrap that around the exhaust. That way no oil actually touches the pipe. Uh, as far as the oil filter, I chose to use the KN160. You can also with the B, uh, go with the BMW OEM model. Uh, as far as the oil goes, um, use the brand of your choice. The important part, it's got to be 5W40. That's what the engine calls for. And you're going to need about three liters of it. And then finally, to make fill up easier, I like to use this jug. Um, it's uh, graduated, so it's very easy for me to tell how much oil is actually in there. I filled it up to just below the three, li three liter mark, uh, topped it off, and it was right where I needed it to be. And then finally, I also like to use some uh, latex gloves just to keep my hands clean. So the first step is gonna be to remove the main drain plug. You'll do this using the T50 bit, and it's located right in the center of the belly pan here. Now, hopefully you've taken the time to warm up the engine just a little bit. Make sure that it's not completely up to operating temperature or the oil is gonna be really hot. You just want it warm enough to make it easier to drain. So this bike actually has two drain plugs. You may not notice the second one unless you knew about it because it's located right inside of the opening that we just exposed. So in addition to the first 50 uh, T50 bit uh, bolt that we just removed, we're gonna wanna remove the second drain plug using a five millimeter hex bit. So if you feel your way inside, You'll go right into the opening and it's right in the center. So now we'll play the waiting game. Give it 10 or 15 minutes for all the oil to drain before uh, we reattach both of the drain plugs. In the meantime, I'll move over to the other side, uh, protect the exhaust pipe from oil spillage from the oil filter. So the oil filter is on the right side of the bike, and like many other bikes, it happens to be located right above the exhaust. So we wanna try to minimize the amount of oil that actually gets on top of the pipe here. I like to use some aluminum foil and just wrap it around. Inevitably, some of it will drip on there, but this will help keep it clean. Be mindful, if you just ran your bike, the exhaust may still be pretty warm, so do not burn yourself. So 
So remember, the drain plugs are still removed. I still have oil dripping uh, out of the bottom of the pan. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the oil filter here. Uh, I do have a second drain pan, uh, the way that this uh, kind of fits together. Uh, this pan is too wide or not wide enough to actually catch the oil coming out of that. So I'll use the spare that I've got. And I'm gonna do what I can to try and direct whatever oil comes out of the filter over the aluminum foil and into the secondary pan. Now this filter is kind of tucked away in there pretty deeply, so it's gonna be difficult to get it loose just by hand. You may wanna use a, an actual oil filter wrench, which I've got over here. And we're gonna need an extension too. latch in place. You're going to want to apply a little bit of pressure into the oil filter so that it doesn't slide around while you loosen it up. And it broke. Well, f um. Well, that's disappointing. This is a brand new uh, oil filter wrench. I've never used it before. It's a uh, parts unlimited. So let's see how we want to deal with that. So the oil filter wrench that I bought specifically for this bike just broke. Looks like the welds on this are really, really of poor quality. So I'll reach out to the vendor there or the manufacturer and then see what they can do about it. But yeah, this is, did not hold. <laughs> but I've got this uh, generic uh, filter wrench that I've used on you know, other cars and bikes before. So let's see if we can make this happen here. wasn't bad at all. I'll realign this aluminum foil here and then just finish uh, loosening it up. And give it just a minute to drain whatever oil keeps coming out and then I'll remove the filter. So once it comes down to a little trickle here, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the filter. Trying to be careful not to drip too much oil over the pipe. So once all the oil finishes draining, uh, we'll remove this piece of aluminum foil. Just try to push it all the way through and avoid any spillage. Now you can use an OEM BMW filter. Uh, this time around, I got a K&N. It's the model number 160. Uh, it's made and designed for this bike, so it should be totally fine. The other nice part is that it actually has a hex nut on top of it, which makes it a lot easier. You don't have to mess around with the oil filter wrenches. Uh, it also has a little hole in the hex nut um, so that you can safety wire the filter uh, much more easily uh, in case you decide to track a bike that you're installing it on. So, We'll move the protective shield here. That's a good idea to apply some fresh oil onto the, the gasket before you install it. So if you dip your finger in, just spread it around.
and it should come on very, very easily. Don't force it if it's not going on easily. It means that it's not aligned properly. So if you force it, you may uh, cross thread it and damage the threads, uh, back it up and then try it again. It should spin on super, super freely like we had it here. So once it's on there and it makes contact with the seal, it's gonna take about three quarters of a turn for it to get to the proper torque. Uh, they recommend about eight foot bounds. So let's see how that works out. That's about a half a turn. And that'll be about three quarters of a turn and right around eight foot pounds. All right, so by this point, uh, the oil's pretty much drained. It's gonna keep dripping like that. It's fine, it's good enough. Uh, so the first step is gonna be to reinstall the secondary drain plug. I already wiped it off free of oil, made sure that all the threads look good. And again, this is the one that's the five millimeter hex. So, Easiest way to do this is it's gonna be starting it by hand. And remember, it's gonna be right in the center of the hole. So we'll need to feel our way up. And it should screw in very easily. If there's any resistance or if it just doesn't feel right, back it up and try it again. You don't wanna be stripping this thread. So now that I feel that it's uh, in there and uh, I've gotten it about hand tight, we'll come back and we're gonna to torque this guy. So this torque uh, should be about seven and a half uh, foot-pounds. There we go. And then the final step here is gonna be to uh, reinstall the primary drain plug. So this is the Torx 50-bit uh, uh, attachment. It's usually a good idea to use a fresh or a clean crush washer here to avoid uh, any potential leakage. And just like with the other one, I'm gonna start it by hand. Don't force this thing. Make sure that the threads are lined up properly. It should go in really easily. And for this one, we're gonna to torque it to about 18 foot-pounds. I've readjusted my wrench. So now that we've got both drain plugs and the oil filter torqued up, we're ready to put the new oil back in there. Um, the BMW calls for 5W40. I like to use Rotella. I also like to use this little pre-measured uh, container to make it uh, easier. Uh, it's usually a good idea to fill it up to just below the line that it says, just in case you didn't get everything. It's a lot easier to top off the oil than to remove it or to drain it partially. So on this bike, it calls for uh, about three liters. So I'm gonna top this off with just under three liters. We'll fill it up, we're gonna start the bike, let it warm up just a few minutes, um, and then let the oil settle, see where it's at, and then adjust if needed. So it's just under three liters. So that's about three liters. The best way to check is really to warm up the engine again. It does have a different volume when the oil is a little bit warmer. So we'll do that, then we'll measure, take a look at the dipstick, and then we'll see if we need to top it off or not. All right, so I let the bike run for a little bit, then gave it time to sit so that the oil could settle back in. So we're gonna go ahead, remove the dipstick over here, so the fill plug. It's a good idea to just wipe it off before you actually take your measurement. And what we're looking for is for the oil level to be between the 
min and the max readings, which it is. So I'm happy and we should be good to go. So thanks so much for your time watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.